aphids are small, sap-sucking insects that are born pregnant. This means that they can reproduce quickly and can build up large populations in a short period of time. Aphids are often found on the underside of leaves, where they insert their long sucking mouth parts into plant tissues to feed on them. Some aphid species also produce honeydew, a sweet substance that can attract other insects and lead to the growth of sooty mold on plant surfaces. This is amazing for anyone who loves nature. You can see all the different aphids and plant life up close, and it's just a beautiful experience overall. I'm so glad you got to check this out with me. Now, what are aphids? An aphid is a small, wingless insect that feeds on the sap of plants. There are many different species of aphids, and they can be found on a wide variety of plant life. Aphids are often considered to be pests, as they can cause damage to crops and gardens. However, some species of aphids are also beneficial to plants, as they help to pollinate flowers. This is amazing news for the plant community. What are the aphid species? Well, the native aphid pest species examined in this video were the highly polyphagous leaf curling plum aphid, the black bean aphid, woolly apple aphid, and the rosy apple aphid. Let's take a dive at these daredevils, shall we? They are fearless thrill seekers, and it looks like they're having the time of their lives. The woolly apple aphid, or scientific name Aerosoma lanigerum, is a small sap-sucking insect that infests trees in the genus Malus, including apples. Aphids are a common pest of fruit trees and can cause extensive damage if left unchecked. The woolly apple aphid gets its name from the white woolly coating that covers its body. This protective covering helps the woolly aphid to avoid predators and to retain moisture. They feed by piercing plant tissue with their mouth parts and sucking out the sap. This feeding process can weaken and even kill plants over time. In addition, aphids can transmit diseases from one plant to another as they feed. Oh yeah. Aphid infestations are often undetectable until plant exhibit symptoms of stress, for example, wilting leaves or reduced growth. The black bean aphid, or Aphis fabe, is a small black insect that feeds on the sap of plants. Aphids are a type of true bug and are part of the order Hemiptera. The black bean aphid is thought to have originated in Europe but it's now found throughout North America, Asia, and Africa. Aphids are problematic for farmers because they can reduce crop yields by feeding on plant sap. They can also transmit plant diseases as they feed. In addition, aphids produce a sweet substance called honeydew that can attract other pests such as ants and bees. To control black bean aphids, farmers may use pesticides or release natural predators such as ladybugs into their fields. Some farmers also plant certain crops that aphids don't like as much. Now, don't trust its pretty name. The rosy apple aphid is one of the most destructive species, feeding on a wide range of fruit and vegetable plants. These pests are particularly troublesome in apple orchards, where they can cause serious damage to the crop. In addition to direct feeding damage, rosy apple aphids can also transmit plant viruses, which can further reduce yields. Controlling rosy apple aphids is difficult, as they have many natural predators and parasites. Insecticidal sprays are often ineffective, as the aphids rapidly develop resistance to them. Isn't this similar to the black bean aphids' terror? Cultural controls are often the best way to manage pests. By planting resistant varieties or removing infested plants, you can keep these critters at bay. What damage can these aphids cause? These pests are often seen feeding on the leaves of plants, and they excrete a sticky substance known as honeydew. Aphids can cause serious damage to plants by sucking out the sap from leaves and stems. This can lead to stunted growth, deformities, and even death in some cases. 
In addition, aphids can transmit diseases from one plant to another. What's the life cycle of an aphid? Aphids can reproduce rapidly and often form large colonies on their host plants. The life cycle of an aphid begins when an adult female aphid lays an egg on a plant. The egg hatches into a nymph, which looks like a miniature version of the adult. The nymph feeds on plant sap and undergoes several molts before reaching adulthood. Once it becomes an adult, the aphid may mate and lay eggs or produce live young without mating. Some species of aphids can also reproduce by parthenogenesis, which is a process in which eggs develop without being fertilized by a male. This means that these species don't need males at all to reproduce, and that's pretty amazing. How do aphids harm plants? They're often seen congregating on the undersides of leaves or in new growth. Aphids feed by piercing plant tissues with their needle-like mouth parts and sucking out the sap. This feeding damages plants and can cause leaves to turn yellow or brown and curl up at the edges. In addition, aphids produce a sticky substance known as honeydew, which can attract other pests such as ants or wasps. Right on, sooty mold can damage plant leaves and honeydew is promoting the growth of it. Now, what eats aphids? While aphids can damage plants by feeding on them, they're also an important food source for many animals. Wow, wow, this plane is really something. It's so beautiful in a way, isn't it? Aphids are eaten by many different types of animals, including ladybugs, lacewings, and hoverflies. These predators help to keep aphid populations in check and prevent them from doing too much damage to plants. Some birds, such as finches and warblers, also eat large numbers of aphids. In addition to being a food source for animals, aphids also provide nutrients for the plants they feed on. When aphids suck plant juices, they excrete a sticky substance called honeydew. Now, how do we get rid of aphids? Aphids are small, sap-sucky insects that can cause stunted growth, distorted leaves, and yellowing of plants. They're often found in large groups on the undersides of leaves. Aphids can be controlled with a number of different methods. One way to control aphids is to introduce a natural predator into the garden. Ladybugs and lacewings feed on aphids and can help to keep their populations in check. Another option is to spray the plants with water to knock the aphids off. This should be done in the morning so that the plants have time to dry before nightfall. A third method of controlling aphids is to use an insecticidal soap or horticultural oil. These products are pretty amazing. They actually have to come into direct contact with the aphids to work. That's incredible. Now, are aphids endangered? Well, aphids aren't in danger of becoming extinct. However, they may be in danger if their environment changes in a way that's harmful to them. For example, if a new predator is introduced to their environment, aphids may not be able to survive. While aphids are not currently endangered, their populations could decline if they continue to be treated as pests. We should make every effort to conserve these amazing and valuable insects. Some aphids are born pregnant, and this is a fascinating aspect of their biology. This allows them to produce more offspring and increases their chances of survival. While more research is needed to understand the full extent of this phenomenon, it's clear that aphids are an amazing and resilient species. That's all for today. Now, stop being a bogart and pass on these digital edibles by sharing this video. Thanks!